Hey guys, today's video was going to be me showing you how I've been shucking these walnuts. Yeah, can you see my fingers? Black thumb. Believe it or not, I had gloves on that went right through the gloves. But I won't be able to shuck any more walnuts. Now I'm going to tell you why in a minute, but let me show you what I got. Now before I show you what I got, it's cold out here today. I should have put a coat on. The weather is totally going down in temperatures. But let me show you what I got. And I'm dedicating this video to two people today. I'm dedicating it to my friend Margaret and my friend Donna. Reason being, they want to see what I've done so far with the walnuts. They're kind of curious themselves. So this video is kind of dedicated to them a little bit. All right, guys, let me show you. Well, here's what's left of the walnuts for me to shuck if I was going to shuck them. Now, the problem is he's been out in the rain for the last three or four days, and this is no good right here. This, you can't shuck. The perfect walnut will be, well, that's no good. This one right here, you can shuck that. And you can kind of, you know, the ones that have a lot of black on them, you just want to toss them. But most of these got black on them now. The reason they got black on them is because they've been out in the rain, and I should have shucked them by now, but I can't. Now, I'll get to that in a little bit. Let me show you um, what I did shuck. Okay, here's the gloves that I use. I use two different pairs of gloves. And you can tell the gloves, look at that. This is all I got so far, exactly, actually just this. These have been shucked. These are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them. I'm going to see what kind of few walnuts I can get out of that because this right here, I won't be able to shuck. Give me a few seconds. I'm going to dump these out for the squirrels to have, and I'll show you why. All right, guys, there's a reason I can't shuck them. I'm going to show you some of it now see that I got a very bad cut on the tip of that finger let me show you how I did it okay the other day we decided we was gonna have meatloaf and mashed potatoes right and my job usually is to peel the potatoes so I peeled them and I got to the part where my wife's like you peeled too much stop and usually her job is to slice the potatoes up in smaller pieces so we could put you know put them in the water put them on the stove she uses this little thing right here to slice the potato. She puts it on top of the bowl, she takes the potato, and goes back and forth with it, right? Now, there is another piece that goes to this, but my wife never uses it. I should have, because she was over there going, Ch -ch 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 -ch. and I'm like, can I try? Now, I remind you, she told me before I tried, she's like, Michael, don't cut yourself. I wasn't on that thing two seconds, and I cut my finger. I cut the very tip of my finger quite a big chunk out and it's because of that is why I can't do the walnuts now it takes all of my fingers to do the walnuts yeah my stupidity my friends stupid let me tell you here in a second why and how stupid that was I did that back many years ago uh, when I was a younger man I wanted to become a chef okay so I went to school for a couple years to learn how to do chef training and after that I actually started working at different places for on you know on the job training as a sous chef I learned how to at one time I used to be a butcher I learned how to use things like that particular tool in there and how to use knives real well so that's why it was stupid of me cutting my finger because out of anybody I should know better I should know better, but that day I was going to try to show Angie up, and I was like, Shh, mm, got myself good. Now, real quick, I'm going to jump back over again to the walnuts. I was telling some of my friends, my friend Margaret, my friend Donna, how when the squirrels get these walnuts, they leave a mess all over my deck. Let me show you some of the mess they leave. Here's one pile right here. <laughs> Yep, they ate that sucker real good. That's just one pile. You got another little pile right here. And you got another little pile right here. It's amazing how their little teeth can dig right through that green junk and get down to the nut. I wonder though, when they dig down to that green junk, do they get that walnut stain like I got? Yeah, I got it on this hand. And I got a little bit on this hand. I got it on the finger I cut, too. And that's with gloves on, folks. <laughs> but, yep, I'm sorry, folks. We're going to have to wait till next year. Until that particular walnut tree. 
that walnut tree and a few other walnut trees I have produce more walnuts. So next year, fall time, we will do the shucking of the walnuts and try it again. But right now, no. With my finger, it hurts too damn bad to even think about trying to shuck any walnuts. There is one thing about me hurt my finger, which you know, some people are probably happy on this, but not me. I'm out of doing dishes until it heals up. That means my poor boys have to do the dishes. I feel bad about that, but they told me. Once my finger heals up, I'm going to be doing dishes for about a week or two. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I got right now. Uh, we still have another Halloween skip before Halloween comes out. At least we're hoping to. Uh, maybe we get started on that this weekend. We was going to do it this past weekend, but it was Saturdays when I hurt my finger. Yeah. So until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here. Leave comments. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking about just pitching the ones I already shucked. Let the squirrels have them too. Start number fresh next year. What do you think? All right. Gotta get my ding dog up. I'm cold. See you guys Thursday or Wednesday. God, I can't. Wait a minute. I will see you guys Friday. Think, Mike. Think.